Hi there, I'm Dave Householder, blessed to be your Bible teacher, and I'm coming to you from Clark Dry Lake. Now, this is a fascinating place. Believe it or not, the government used to have all kinds of antennas out here listening for aliens. That was back in the 50s. That's all falling apart now. Nobody does that out here. But this is a fascinating lake because here in this mud, every few years or so, this place fills up with water and shrimp come out of this mud. There's dormant shrimp in here somehow, and they come to life, and this place is full of shrimp, this lake here. Well, that's just interesting stuff, but I want to bring you through Isaiah 57. At the beginning of Isaiah 57, it talks about how the evil sometimes outlive the righteous, and that just doesn't seem fair. It, it seems like evil people don't die until they've done all the damage they can, and good people die too young very often. But this chapter closes with a fascinating passage in verse 20. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, which cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Now, if you've ever done something wrong, we all have, and we're afraid of getting caught. We are like the troubled sea, casting up mire and dirt, and we worry and there's no rest. If you want rest for your soul, it's so important to have a clean conscience. In German, they say, ein gutes Gewissen, which is a good conscience, ist ein sanftes Ruhekissen. It's a, it's a soft sleeping pillow. And I just want to encourage you to, to operate with integrity and tell the truth. Or at least don't lie, for goodness sake. It's hard to tell the truth because we don't always know what the truth is. We only have a piece of the truth. But we can avoid lying. 1 Corinthians 10.13 says that uh, when we're tempted to do something, tempted to lie, the Lord always provides a way out from that. So we don't have to do that. And the more we tell the truth, the more we're people of integrity, the more we're upright in our handlings with people, the more relaxed and peaceful life is. Because it says here, there is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. So let's live in peace. Let's... Uh, from now on, continue to do the best we can to be people of integrity, and we will be able to move towards that peace in our life. That's the good news for today from Clark Dry Lake out in the Sonoran Desert, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.